So we're on the set of The Verdict, which is a show we're going to be touring around the country. It's a courtroom drama. It's the story of a kind of washed up, middle-aged, um, alcoholic lawyer called Frank Galvin, who lives in Boston in 1980. Uh, he's, a, he's a World War II veteran. Um, he's a drinker. His marriage is in a, in a mess. He's spending his time looking in the in the local paper for deaths and injuries that he can help as a lawyer. So the very lowest rung of the legal ladder, really. And this case comes before him, and it's a medical malpractice case. They, he's, offered, um, he's offered a settlement, but then he goes to see the girl who's been rendered a vegetable by the mistakes made in this hospital. And he decides that this is the case he has to fight. And it becomes a kind of tale of personal redemption for him and, and uh, a kind of heroic effort against all the odds and against the establishment of Boston. The interesting thing about this story, I think, for me, is that he's a flawed man that does something good. Um, and I think that works both ways. Good people can do bad things. Bad people can do good things. But this becomes an opportunity for him to put all that guilt and worry about his life behind him and do something right. I would recommend it because it's a fantastic story, well told. It's a wonderful company. It's funny, it's warm, it's heartbreaking, it's a love story. But I mean, mainly it's, it's, it's a tale of, of redemption and I think everyone can benefit from seeing something like that. Well, I'm a huge fan of Paul Newman. Um, and I think he's a wonderful actor, an amazing actor. And his performance in The Verdict is superlative and wonderful. Um, it's slightly different from what we're doing. It's the same story. It's from the same source, the Barry Reed novel. But I, I saw it a long time ago, and I deliberately didn't go back to it when I got this job because I didn't want my head full of his brilliance. You know, I wanted to approach it um, in my own way and do something that was um, good for theatre, you know. But no, I love the film. And I, I don't think anyone would not recognise it. Um, but I think there's, there's a sort of detail in our play that's more in the novel that the film wasn't perhaps able to do.